Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are fine wherever you are. My name is Jerome Timkulu. Uh, I am the lead Akatuta at Transcar Consulting Services, an online initiative uh, meant to ensure the gospel of accountants is preached to the end of the globe. Okay, at a very affordable rate, especially in Zimbabwe. In this particular video, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step approach on our recently um, given assignments for the week three to those who are studying with us the Zimbabwean variant uh, taxation. Okay, and uh, we are mainly uh, handling the ACA qualification, I mean the coaching for the ACA qualification, and uh, we are expecting to grow uh, into uh, various qualifications, various accounting qualifications, the CGPA, the IAC, the SAR, and the SIMA. Okay, so if you are studying any of these qualifications, please feel free to contact us if you need any assistance. We will be there to help you, to guide you through. So that you pass you might happen to be a university student and you feel you need some extra tutorship in this subject area please feel free we are there to assist you as far as possible all right so those are uh, our conducts okay these are our conducts and um, let me just highlight them okay Okay, so this is uh, the cell number where you can uh, get in touch with uh, a two-tone call or you can simply email us or visit our website, okay, our website which is uh, www.transcanconsulting.com co dot zw okay you can get in touch with us there 24 7 24 hours a day seven days a week or 365 days a year we will always be online there's always going to be a two-town call so feel free to contact us anytime okay these are the qualifications which we offer uh i mean the qualifications um, where we assist students uh, with coaching okay we only offer coaching of course the examinations are administered by the respective accounting bodies so uh, when you make your payments you just have to know that we are only going to give you the guidance the tutorship uh, or the tutoring experience okay and uh, after the coaching you just have to budget for uh, respective uh, registration fees and also examination fees which are payable to the respective accountants bodies without wasting your time let us go straight to business like i said these uh these questions we are going to I use as part of this presentation were given to you as part of your week three assignments the week three assignments but uh, even if you didn't took part in the assignment exercise you may be helped by just uh, watching this video uh, if you are doing taxation or you are uh, expecting to write a taxation exam in the shortest possible time this year this is going to assist you this video is going to assist you very much and uh, very deeply in your exam preparation so please give an ear to this presentation as you go through step by step all right 
Ford Bulk Private Limited is a small company engaged in the production of cement for local consumption. It has 20 employees. You are presented with the following information for each of the specified tax years before making adjustments to the results of prior years. So you are given information for assessed losses, uh, that is assessed loss carried forward for the year 2015, which was 600, and another loss in 2016, which was 500. Then in 2017, we made some profit, okay, which is 710 taxable income, and then an assessed loss, 120, and tax income, taxable income, 640, then loss, and then net profit in year 2021. So this is the current year where they uh, made a loss. I mean, they made a profit. It's a net profit. But what you have to do is for you now to compute the, the tax payable for the year 2021, you need to take into consideration this additional information. Okay? And you also have to take care of the assets loss impact because it is going to affect your uh, current year taxable income. Okay? So, I'm going to um, present you the model, model solution which was expected of you uh, in your assignment. So, uh, the idea is not for me to simply show you the answer but to explain how the answer was arrived at and also to explain some of the hidden um, hidden issues within answering these questions the requirement was uh, you were supposed to indicate the final tax position of 40 bulk for the year ended 31st 2021 that was the requirement so for you to arrive at the tax position you also need to first deal with the assessed loss issues okay so this is how you were supposed to deal with the assessed loss you will first have to have the 2015 loss carried forward of 600,000 you add the subsequent loss of 520 remember this is an assessed loss so it is also in bracket so you add another loss for the subsequent subsequent year which was 520 to become uh, 1,120,000. You then have to deduct uh, a profit which was made in 2017 of 710. Okay? After doing that, you are left with an assessed loss carried forward in 2017 of 410. Then you add the loss in 2018 of 120 to become negative 530,000 as assessed loss carried what then in 2019 there was some profit so this is going to reduce our sales loss or to turn it rather to turn it into an a taxable income okay because the profit was larger than the assets loss carried forward so it turned the assets loss into some taxable income but in 2020 there was there was a loss so the taxable income was again turned into an assets loss and the assessed loss carried forward was 190,000 in 2020. So, this is the assessed loss which is going to affect the 2021 net profit, I mean, taxable income. Now, for you to do to compute business income, I mean, I mean, taxable income for, the, for a business, you, re, you just have to remember to start with the profit paid, the accounts as given in the question. Our profit is given, we indicate we highlighted it as one million and eighty thousand. This is the profit as given. So here that's the, the plus and this is the negative. So the profit is a plus here. Okay, we then have to adjust this profit okay by either adding or deducting certain issues. 
For example, depreciation. Obviously, depreciation is not allowable, so we have to add it back to the net profit. But donation to the National Basel Fund is an allowable deduction. So we indicate, we write it, but we indicate it with a zero. Okay? If you simply ignore it and say ah, it is an allowable deduction, let us move on. You are going to lose a mark because if you put a zero like this, you get your mark. But if you don't write anything, there is no mark that is going to come your way. What about a donation to a local church? A donation to a local church is not tax allowable. Okay? It is not an allowable deduction. So you have to add it back. So this is why the 80,000 is going to be taxed. Medical aid contributions, these ones are tax allowable. So you indicate the zero. Trade missions. Trade missions are allowed up to a maximum of 200,000. So this one, again, you have to indicate the zero. Why? Because uh, the trade mission cost incurred was only 19,000. And this one is uh, tax allowable because it is below 200,000. So you just have to indicate with a zero. But if it had exceeded 200,000, then the extra, the, the, ex, the excess was supposed to be taxed. Now, pension fund contributions. Pension fund contributions are uh, tax allowable up to a maximum of 240,000 per employee. Now, this company had 20 employees. So if you multiply 0, 0, um, 0, 0, okay, okay, then, um, that's zero. I mean four, eight. Okay, you can see here that um, all the employees. Okay, the contribution for all the employees, the maximum contribution was supposed to be eight million four hundred thousand. However, the only contributions. The maximum contributions, which were, uh, I mean, the contributions made for these 20 employees was only 800,000. So you can see that uh, this one was uh, within, okay, it's far below 8 million. So you can see that this is why we put a zero. There was no any excess. The contributions which were made were within the right um, threshold. Okay, so you then have to add up these uh, figures and you come at 1.4 uh, million, 1.48 million. Okay, so um, this is the taxable income. But you just have to deduct the assessed loss here. The assessed loss carried forward. This is going to reduce the, this figure to become. 1.29 million as adjusted taxable income. Okay, this is the taxable income for uh, the name of the common 40 bulk. Here we are done. We have attended to the assessed loss issues as well as the taxable income. Let's move on to the next question. Changazo Private Limited purchased new software for its telecom business from a Canadian supplier. The license for the new software was renewable annually. In terms of the agreement for the supply of the software, Changazo Private Limited engaged an expert from the Canadian supplier to come to Zimbabwe for one and a half weeks and train their staff in using the new software for its telecoms business. The cost of the training was 50,000. The, the accommodation and food for the expert was 8,000 for the one full week 
and 2000 for the training for the remaining half week. The initial cost of the license fees for the software was 15,000. All the after going costs were payable in 2021. Accommodation and food were supplied by a VAT registered vendor with their ITF 263 forms. Discuss any withholding tax consequences of, I mean, to Changa's private limited for the above transactions for the 2021 year of assessment, 8 marks. Okay, withholding tax implication. In terms of the 17th schedule to the Income Tax Act, the training services are, are fees which are exempt from non-residence tax on fees. So uh, these fees uh, which were being charged by the by the foreign foreign expert are exempt are exempt from non-residence tax on fees all right so therefore the non the non-resident tax on fees is not payable on training charges of fifty thousand okay so the, the the act does not allow you to charge uh for training services okay they're not you are not allowed to withhold uh, any tax, the 10% tax on the uh, training services. The accommodation and food are also not paid to none residents, nor are they fees as per the 17th schedule. So, which means uh, that uh, cost is not going to be deductible. Okay. Accommodation and food vendors have forms ITF 263 certificates. Therefore, no 10% withholding tax on contracts should be withheld. Remember, withholding tax is for those guys who have no tax clearance. Who have no tax clearance. So if somebody is a uh, 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 is fully compliant in terms of uh, taxation then there's no need for you to charge the withholding tax the license fee is for the right to use the software and is paid to a non-resident uh, that is section 32 of the income tax act as read with the 19th schedule therefore withholding tax on royalties Remember the right to use the software. So there is actually need for some royalties. Okay, this involves royalties. So um, withholding tax on royalties of fifteen percent is payable on the fifteen thousand initial cost, initial license cost paid in twenty twenty one. The amount is payable, and the withholding tax should be remitted to Zimra. So. The only withholding tax that is applicable in this transaction is uh, the initial license cost of 15000 And once you withhold this tax, you then have to make sure that you remit it to Zimra within 10 days. So you are only given 10 days. If you, uh, if you want to enjoy uh, the cash flow advantage of it, you, may, you have to make sure that whatever you are doing should be done within 10 days within at least nine days so that on the 10th day you have to ensure that the tax has been remitted to the zimra i'm sure there it is clear now tapo private limited tapo private limited is a wholly owned subsidiary common of ttt limited a large wholesale common the following is Tapo's statement of profit or loss for the year ended 31st December 2021. And what is the requirement? Yeah, let us go straight to the requirement. Explain the operations of and the conditions which must be satisfied in order for Tapo 
private limited to qualify for the relief available for transfers of assets between companies on the transfer of the commercial vehicles to TTT Limited for Mark. They calculate the taxable income of and corporate tax payable by Tapo Private Limited for the year and the 31st December, making use of an available relief. Note, you should start your calculations with the net profit before tax of 1.7 million and should indicate by the use of a zero an amount referred to in the question for which no adjustment is required. So we are, give, we are being given a hint by the examiner that please do not leave, do not just ignore transaction. If you feel a transaction needs no adjustment, please just write the transaction and put a zero. Do not just simply ignore a transaction because by the end of the day you are going to put a zero. Examiners want to make sure that you understand that such a transaction should, uh, I mean, does not need an adjustment. You have to show them by putting that zero. So you are given a statement of profit or loss there. And that's the statement of profit or loss where we have the revenue of 9.3, the cost of sales, the gross profits, other income. And uh, we are given some notes here. These are the notes to the to the to these figures, okay, notes to these figures, they they give more detail about these figures, okay, distribution costs, admin costs, other expenses, finance costs, and then the net profit. This is the the figure you have to start to put uh, when you, when you are computing taxable income for a business. You just have to start by the net profit before tax, okay, before tax. And then you proceed. But now, like I said, the notes, these notes, the notes, they give more detail about these figures. For example, note number one about the cost of sales. Included in the cost of sales is the cost of computers valued at uh, 500,000 purchased for the office use, for office use on 20 November 2021, but included as part of opening inventory in error so you can see that the computer cost was put in cost of sales cost of sales are revenue expenditure but computer are capital expenditure so you can see that that cost was misplaced so we have to add them back okay um other income relates to the profit on a on a transfer of commercial vehicles to tct this transfer was in line with a decision of the board of directors to streamline the operations of TAPO. The commercial vehicles were originally purchased by TAPO for 1.5 million and the market value of the vehicles at the date of transfer was 2.9 million. So um, the vehicles had been purchased for 1.5 but they were sold for 2.9 so there was a profit of 1.4 million as indicated here. This is the profit they are talking about. Okay, but uh, you have to know that TAPO, TAPO and TTT are under same, con same control. So they are, they are just uh, related companies or companies under the same control. Okay, so... Uh, there could be some relief, okay? Some some relief um, on the transfer of assets, okay? There can be some relief if they choose to, okay? Because they may the the, the income tax act allows companies under the same control to uh, to elect to transfer assets at their income tax value, okay? And their income tax value just to enjoy um, or to limit exposure to capital gains or uh, to reduce their exposure to gross income related to recoupment okay so there won't be any recoupment if the assets have been transferred between companies 
or under the same control or between spouses. I'm sure you know that. So there won't be any recoupment because the recoupment is part of gross income, which is taxed. So if we transfer uh, assets at their income tax value, there won't be any profit that has been made would have dodged uh, that exposure. But it is something that applies to companies under the same control or a sale between spouses. For example, if your wife sold assets to her husband, in the eyes of the taxman, the, those, eye, those assets would have been transferred at income tax value, so there won't be any uh, profit made. So if they if they were claiming any capital allowance on those assets, they will continue even if a sale has been made, because it will be just a transfer between um, related parties or companies under the same control or spouses. All right, I'm sure I've spoken much in that area. Let's move on. Then we have got distribution costs. So, the idea is, you don't have to just read as if you are reading a storybook. Something should be happening, should be ringing in your mind, so that um, you will be tackling certain issues as you will be, so that when you do your test computation, it will be very easy for you. You would have at least done some, some groundwork, okay? Distribution costs are made up as follows. Motor vehicle running costs and maintenance costs. You can see that this one is a tax allowable. This one is allowable. Insuring the license costs allowable. Purchase of vehicle tracking equipment and radio. These ones now, these ones are uh, capital nature. These ones are capital nature. Capital nature. Or, or capital expenditure. Okay, these ones are capital expenditures. These ones. Then traffic fines, these ones again, they are not allowable. They are prohibited deductions. These ones are not, these ones are not allowable. These ones are capital nature, okay. These ones, they, they are part of implements, um, okay, they are implements, uh, implements, uh, or machinery or utensils, utensils, taxpayers' utensils, implements, etc. They are they they, they fall in the same bracket with uh, those uh, items like uh, computer software, etc. Okay. Also, like any machinery. All right. They are the taxpayers' machinery, uh, implements, artilleries, etc. Okay, they are used by the taxpayer in the production of his income. So they are of capital nature. Okay, they are of capital nature. They have to be treated as such. So these ones are not allowable deductions. This one again was not. Okay, it was a capital nature. This one is a capital, capital expenditure. So you can see we are moving. We are moving. Okay, we are moving. So the rest, these ones which I have ticked, you have to write them, okay, in your adjustment for the net profit, but you have to indicate with a zero. You can see, you have to indicate with a zero. Okay, administrative expenses, they are made up of, because we are given. Remember, one thing I want you to notice, this, um, be, this text question, they are just the same. Be they uh, in an ICAS paper, an ACA paper, or the CGPA paper, IAC, or CIMA. They are just going to be the same. But one thing you have to realize is, like I said, the notes will be explaining these figures. So, when you go to the note, for example, you will be, you, if you are given this total, this is the same total that is here. Okay? This is the same total. Remember, this this total for the distribution expense 
this is the total okay but the note is saying in this total there were traffic fines there were uh there was a purchase of vehicle tracking equipment etc so when we were calculating the net profit we deducted we deducted these items as part of expenses okay but in the eyes of the tax man you and in your own eyes as well you can see that traffic fines were not supposed to have been deducted <laughs> okay fine when you are preparing your financial report, that's okay. You have to deduct traffic fines because there is a cost to your business. Okay? But in the eyes of the taxman, that's not a cost. This is the difference between accounting profit and tax profit. Okay? So, but I'm sure you're not going to be intimidated by any long question now. You are now aware of what is happening. That's the purpose of having a tutor around you. Okay. Now to the admin expenses. You 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 can also cross check the figure, the totals, the total to ensure it is tallying with that given in the question. You can see that it is 2.9 million, and here that's 2.9 million. So they are saying this 2.9 million is made up of these items. So try to find out which item is a black sheep repairs and and maintenance costs yes those should be deducted they are allowable office renovation renovations and partitioning yes allowable staff expenses yes allowable litigation costs uh municipality bylaw violation no this is like traffic fine then general administrative costs yes allowable um entertainment costs if the examiner does not tell you that it was an entertainment related to your business, you just have to assume that it is an entertainment for staff, like for example a Christmas party sponsorship or entertainment. Such type of costs are not allowable. Then depreciation obviously not allowable. So you can see that uh, we've got a lot of guys which need to be added back. If they are not allowable, then you have to add them back. Are we together? Can somebody say Amen? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Other expenses are made up of hire of plant and equipment. Hire of plant and equipment, yes, that's an allowable expense. Compensation, lease agreement, detail, detailed below. Let us hear the story. Okay, Sapo cancelled an agreement to lease. An office space under the terms of the lease agreement, Sapo was required to pay the landlord 220000 of additional compensation for early termination of lease. So, if you terminate a lease early, obviously that's not the Zimura's business, that's your own business, that's your own baby. So, you, have, you are not allowed to deduct anything. So, this one should be added back. Additional information. Sapo's non current asset register as the 31st December 2020 shows the following assets. So, the, the prior year, the previous year, year at the year end of uh, 2020, these were the uh, figures for our non current assets. Okay, we had this guy, uh, the show premises. All right premises the tax value was this one okay so you can see from this whether you are going to use sear or uh, way and tier you can see from this okay sear is deducted at 25 percent over four years over four years so the itv the income tax value can tell you Hey, it can tell you this shop premises are commercial building. This is a commercial building. Commercial buildings are uh, okay, 2.1 that's the cost, and 25% of 2.1. You can see that it is far much uh, 
let us just use our calculator um let me try to use my calculator 25 percent of 2.1 That's a minute, 2.1 by 25%. That's 400, I mean 525. If we are using C, it means that we would have deducted, so if we deduct 525 from 2.1, uh, sorry, this calculator of mine, Five point two five. Okay, two point one. Okay, would if we had deducted C from two point one, we would have have an a text value of one point five. Okay, one million five hundred seventy five. All right, but. The text value is 1.942500. It means the, the the building is being subjected to wear and tear. So the wear and tear is 2.5% on commercial buildings. So you can see that. And one thing for certain, for immovable property, the way NT is going to be on reducing balance. I mean, on on straight line basis, straight line. So if we are given one point nine four two, um, it means for this twenty twenty one, we are going to say one point nine four two five zero zero multiplied by two point five percent. But that one is not a problem the issue is for you to determine if the examiner wants you to use the CR or the wnt they have just handed you here they are using way and tier because if they had used CR, they it was supposed to have been the figures was supposed to have been this value or lower because this one is a result of uh, a deduction of 25% from this figure. This is because 25% of 2.1 is five five hundred and twenty-five thousand of capital allowance. Okay, so which means that the tax value was going to be one point five seven five thousand but it is one point nine four two five hundred which means they are using a percentage which is lower and we know and it is given especially for ACA students they are given that tax rate in the exam for commercial building it is two point five for way and tier okay what about for for Commercial vehicles, commercial vehicles, commercial vehicles here they are being um, subjected to what? All right, let's assume, let us just use the same method. Commercial vehicles, if they are using SIA, SIA is 25%, 25% of 1.5 million gives 375,000. That's twenty five percent. So, if um, let's say uh, the the vehicles have been subjected to SIA for two years, so if it is for two years, it becomes seven hundred and fifty thousand. And you can see this is why they are having that. Okay, one might argue and say. What if they use way and t? If they had used way and t, then what it means is way and t is at twenty percent, and it will be 
on reducing balance method for movable for movable properties so 20% of 1.5 million becomes um say 20% that's 300,000 okay that's 300,000 and when you want to calculate for the second year we say 1.5 million minus 300,000 multiply by 20% and you can see that the figure would would not the tax the tax value would would be having some other figures here because let's say 1.2 i mean 1.2 million here that's multiplied by 20% let's try using our calculator 1.2 million multiplied by 20% that's 240 so already 1.2 minus 240 to get the text value the figure becomes 960 okay the figure becomes 960 and you can see uh, we still have more work to be done 960 okay let's say the the the, the vehicle were three years more had three years more in terms of life in the business okay so let's calculate again another 20 percent let's deduct another 20 percent that's 960 minus the prior year but you can see that we will will be wondering so it is actually i mean easier to notice that the percentage which was being used here was a seer okay the vehicles are under seer but these ones are under work i mean um way and tier all right now the news if you see new new it means it was there was no more capital allowance to be to be deducted the the assets had already exhausted their their tax uh, i mean the they've already exceeded uh their lifetime for tax purposes no more capital allowance was going to be deducted on them Okay, so this is just some dot, some some jotting. Okay, yeah, you will be just jotting down uh, as you read the question, so that when you start to do your computation, you will be well guided and would be having um, less work to do. Okay, so let us now go straight away to uh, the model solution. Now, for requirement A, explain the operation of and the conditions which must be satisfied in order for TAP uh, Private Limited to qualify for the relief available for transfer of assets between companies. Okay, we talked about that. If companies are under uh, under the same control, there is a particular um, relief with regards to some uh, reconstruction. Okay, transfer transfer of assets between TAPO and Tidy Limited qualify is scheme of reconstruction since the two companies are under the same control or i mean since the two companies are under the same control where the two companies elect to transfer the assets at their tax values the assets are deemed to be sold at their tax values regardless of the actual price agreed the effect of the election is to suppress potential gains potential capital gains on a specified assets if for example they were immovable property okay then the capital gains were not going to be charged. Also, the recoupment. Remember, recoupment is selling price minus income tax value. If there is a profit, then that profit in tax terms is recoupment. recoupment. Okay? It is called recoupment. All right. Okay? But 
if there is a loss we call it scraping allowance okay don't worry we'll do that uh, as we practice along okay so this is our model solution uh, ladies and gentlemen all right as you can see there you can see we start with the net profit 1.7 given okay and then we add the cost of computers why because it had been misplaced into the cost of sales when it was supposed to be a capital item okay capital expense so we have to add back to the net profit because it should be uh, that the net profit had prejudiced the the tax man by deducting something which was not supposed to be deducted so we have to add that back then motor running and maintenance costs these ones are allowable this is why they uh, they put a zero okay and then insurance and licenses they are also allowable we talked about these then the vehicle tracking system was a capital item capital nature item so it is to be added back okay traffic fines yes they are not allowable they're not deductible then uh, general repairs and maintenance allowable put a zero uh, office renovation and partitioning allowable um, staff expenses allowable then litigation by law we've talked about this this one you're not allowed you just have to add it back you're not allowed to deduct it then general administrative cost yes allowable put a zero there and entertainment cost please if the examiner is silent about these entertainment costs please add them back depreciation add it back obviously please do not lose a mark on depreciation that's free marks those ones are free mark they are free marker <laughs> then hire of plant and equipment yes it's allowable then cancellation of lease we talked about this the zimura do not care if you canceled your lease early <laughs> they are in for it you are not allowed to deduct anything so add back okay then um less profit on disposal all right um this one now okay in this in this case now um because these companies remember this is a profit when which was made when the vehicles were transferred to uh ttt okay but because the, the, they have chosen to enjoy uh the relief okay that profit is going to be deductible okay it is deductible because once you make that election or that that choice to to exercise um, the relief, okay, then the profit is going to be deductible, and the recoupment there is no recoupment that is going to arise, so the recoupment is going to be zero. Okay, that's the trick bit about the question. Then. We didn't have to deduct the capital allowances. Like I said, the shop premises is a commercial building, and the commercial buildings are have a capital allowance of 2.5 percent. So 2.5 percent multiplied by 2.1 million to get this one. And then commercial vehicles, commercial vehicles. That's uh, those commercial vehicles which were transferred. They are still deemed. Uh, to be continuing under the same original owner, okay, because these companies are under the same control, so therefore you continue, if, uh, regardless of the fact that the vehicles have been transferred, you continue to claim the capital allowances on them, okay, continue to, exercise, uh, I mean, to enjoy the capital allowances on them, furniture and fitting, and you can see that they are claiming the accelerated way and here which is a, a variant of sia okay that's the sia computation that is the the sia that is going that is still being claimed okay then furniture and fittings 
just have to indicate i mean endorse them but uh, indicate with a zero because they've exhausted their tax life okay then computers this is here again that's 125,000, 25% of 500,000. Remember, these were wrongly placed in the cost of sales, so we added them here, but we have to claim the capital allowances attached to them. All right, uh, the vehicle tracking system. The vehicle tracking system, we added it here, but we also have to consider it here again, okay? It's capital allowance because these were, were capital uh, items. Okay, so we just have to consider because here is allow is also allowed on articles, uh, implements, machinery, and utensils purchased for the purpose of trade, like the vehicle tracking system. So we have to claim the CRD. All right, so you do your casting, and then you have to come to a taxable income of this amount. Then you um, then do the tax com computation. Using the 24% because corporate tax this in 2021 is 24%. That's the corporate tax tax rate, and then you have to add 3% age less. This gives 24.72%. But one might ask, how did you arrive at 24.72%? This is very easy. Okay, like I said, you start with 24%, then add 3% age left, so plus 24 multiplied by 3%. Then you just have to get your 24.72%. I'm sure this has been very clear for you so that uh, you know where to start and where to go. If you still have any questions, please, uh, we'll give you the contacts. If you don't know the, if you don't know, if you do not know them, we are going to give you the contacts so that you contact us. Or simply just to replay the, this video. At the start of the video, we display our contacts there. Okay. Um, Metacal Private Limited is a Zimbabwean incorporated company based in Masasa industrial area. The company is in the business of manufacturing various plastic products. On 1 January 2021, the following assets were shown in its asset register. So we are giving this information from the asset register of Metakai. Okay, they've got industrial land at uh, that value, delivered truck, computers, warehouse. Factory building, Mercedes Benz, industrial machinery. We have got the year acquired, the month, the income tax value. Additional information the company disposed the existing machinery for 240,000 on 30 June 2021 and replaced it with a new machinery which was bought for 500,000. The cost of bringing the machinery to its useful state was incurred as follows. Import duty, petty bridge border post, 25,000. Installation, 15,000. Alteration of the factory building so as to fit the new machine at 20,000. The company bought a Nissan Primera for the finance director on 20 February 2021 for 140,000. The delivered truck was involved in an accident on 30 October 2021. The insurance company paid the 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 company ninety thousand in compensation. The directors have since found a similar truck for re replacement. Required calculate the maximum allowances and income to be included in the computation of tax liability for Metakai. Twenty marks. Solution. The capital allowance schedule. Okay. In any exam, you just have to be comfortable uh, with the capital allowance schedule. Alright? Um, now, most of the information will be just 
speaking from what is there in the question okay and uh, this is the information this information here is uh, is it the first january 2021 and when we prepare the text return it will be for the year to 31st December 2031 okay and these values are of greater importance all right okay um so we are having these figures all right uh we need now to just finish reading uh, to the requirement uh okay there is this important note the delivery truck was involved in an accident on 3rd october 2021 the insurance company paid the company 90,000 in compensation. The director has since found a similar truck for replacement. And the requirement is saying that calculate the maximum allowances and then to be included in the computation of tax liability for meta All right. Now, um, I wanted this to show you something. All right. These figures, these figures are very, very, very important. Okay. But now, for the purpose of calculating tax liability or capital allowances, um, land, land is not given and uh, um, is not considered something that has some depreciative value. Okay, it is not going to be depreciated. So uh, usually for the land, you just have to indicate it as zero. All right. Now the most interesting figures are the other assets okay but i want you to know where or which uh, capital allowance was being utilized per each asset so we just use the same trick okay we know that sia is charged at 25 percent on the cost of the asset okay so uh for example if if uh, on the delivery truck, CIA had been used. It means that the income tax value should sh should be seventy five thousand or lower. Okay, from her, because the cost was hundred thousand, so twenty five percent of hundred thousand is twenty five thousand. So if CIA had been charged, the income tax value of the asset should have been seventy five thousand or lower. But it is ninety thousand, so which means the delivered truck had been subjected to a to a percentage other than the SIA. All right. But you just have to uh okay, it had been subjected to where and SIA. But also consider the the month in which the asset was acquired. This asset was acquired during during the year i mean midway uh during the year okay that is it only uh stayed in the business for six months so um we need to also consider the implication okay so in 2020 in 2020 this asset stayed only for six months okay so when we compute the cumulative capital allowances we have to consider those things okay so to verify whether uh, the sia or where and had been used i'm sure you now know uh, how to do that okay for example the delivered truck 
we now deliver trucks and motor vehicles and motor vehicles uh it appreciated uh using the 20 percent way and tier rate okay 20 percent way and tier rate these rates are given to you in the exam if you are doing the ACA paper okay the ACA tax variant of zimbabwe you are given those uh, tax rates so it's not a worry okay so 20 percent of hundred thousand that's uh twenty thousand but here they gave i mean they gave the value of ninety thousand after taking into consideration the the way and tier of twenty thousand but they only um deducted ten thousand because of the asset was acquired in july which is six months into the year okay so they only considered ten percent i mean ten thousand for the half part of the year so this is why i said that the math very important for you to understand which uh, value and which uh, um, capital allowance was being claimed so it's now obvious that um, the delivered truck trucks were being subjected to way and tier what about the computers computers with a cost of 40 thousand okay they were acquired in 2018 and we are told that uh they had an income tax value of uh ten thousand only so we know that here is only deducted for four years so from 2018 if we had charged this year 2018 ten thousand would have gone 2019 another ten thousand would have gone 2020 Ten thousand would have gone, and obviously by the end of twenty twenty, then the asset would have an income tax value of ten thousand. So you can see here that here was being applied. Then warehouse. They were acquired in twenty twenty January. By the end of the year, if we had used here, okay, if here had been used, then the twenty. 25% of um, 500,000 we would have deducted something like 100 something um, let, let me just use my calculator uh, 500,000 multiply by 25% so we would have deducted 125 to become um, To have a balance of 375,000 here. So you can see that for the warehouse, a certain percentage was being used. Certain percentage was being used. And what was that, that percentage? That percentage was something else. And that's where and here. Where and here for warehouse. Warehouses are industrial buildings. So we use a rate of percent and this rate is given in the exam but what you have to do what you have to know is uh, warehouses commercial buildings or uh, industrial buildings warehouses are industrial buildings so they are subjected to weigh and tier at five percent so you can see that this one is subject to weigh and tier all right are we going to uh, use these uh, capital allowances for our computation is this information useful do we have to worry about this yes we have to worry you will see why i'm saying that you have to know that um factory buildings factory buildings are also industrial buildings so they are subjected to weigh and tier at five percent so um you can see if we had used here on factory buildings remember here is claimed on 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 immovable property that has been uh, constructed not acquired but constructed okay so if if you had acquired an immovable property then here is not going to be claimed okay here is not going to be claimed on immovable property 
that has been acquired back on constructed immovable properties only. If we construct by our own by ourselves, then we can claim here. But if we have acquired the building, then we do not claim here but just wait and see. But if we acquired an asset, uh, a movable, we can make an election whether to use here or way and tier. That should be very, very clear in our mind. Okay, uh, so um, for the factory building, obviously, if we had claimed here, 25% is 500,000. 25% of 2 million is 500,000. So automatically, we would have we would have had a figure that is lower than 1.7. So here we are using wear and tear at 5%. Then Mercedes Benz, okay, it was bought uh, in 2020 in December and we claimed a SIA. This one is very clear here. Then industrial machinery. Industrial machinery, uh, there is actually a note about this industrial machinery. Okay, fine. And they had claimed here, here. This year, 300,000, uh, 25% of 300,000, what is that? 75,000, okay. 75,000. Let me just use my calculator, 300,000. Five point five seventy five thousand. So here again, that's here. Okay, so let us go to the model answer. We will be helped with these uh, determinations here. So the delivered track from this information, we are told that it has got an income tax value at the beginning of the of ninety five of ninety thousand. So this is the income tax value. Let me just uh, use another pen. Okay, the income tax value. All right, and delivered trucks and motor vehicles they are subjected to wear and tear of twenty percent, twenty percent. But the delivered truck, not three here. The delivered truck was involved in an accident on third October twenty twenty one. The insurance company paid the company ninety thousand in compensation. The directors have since found a similar track for replacement. So this track, although it had an, an income tax value of ninety thousand, it was subjected to a tier of twenty percent. Okay, twenty percent. But uh, the capital allowance subjected to this vehicle is fifteen thousand. Why is it fifteen thousand? Because this value was this, I mean, destroyed during the year, so it only uh, stayed in the business for only ten months. In October, by third October, it had gone. It had been involved in a, in an accident, so that's ninety thousand multiplied by ninety thousand multiplied by twenty percent multiplied by ten over twelve, and we get. Our fifteen, the fifteen thousand. Okay, so fifteen thousand minus ninety thousand, we get an ITV of uh, seventy-five thousand. However, this vehicle was destroyed, and we were, we obtained ninety thousand. But there is no recoupment because um, the vehicle was replaced. The vehicle was replaced. So there is no recoupment. Okay. Um, computers. Computers had at the beginning of the year. Okay. At the beginning of the year. Um, they had now. Some 10,000. Okay. From the question. Computers had 10,000 all right okay although their cost was 40,000 but um, their income tax value 
was 10,000. All right. So by the end of the year, they had exhausted. This is why we have a zero here. They had exhausted because all the 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 cumulative uh, capital allowances which had been claimed over the four years had reached 40,000, which is our cost. Uh, I mean their cost. So they had exhausted everything during the year. 25% was charged on this cost, okay? 25% was charged on the cost, and the, the last 10,000 10, uh, of the remaining uh, accelerated wear and tear was consumed. So this is why we get a zero in terms of income tax values for computers. Okay, sure that it is clear. All right, then, the cost for the warehouse is given again in the question. Okay, the cost in the warehouse, I mean, for the warehouse, that's 500. Okay, the cost for the warehouse, that's 500,000, and warehouses are subjected to wear and tear of 5% because they are commercial. They are commercial. Uh, I mean, they are, they are industrial buildings. So, industrial buildings are subjected to weight of 5%. So, 5% of 500,000 is 25,000. But remember, the question indicates that the warehouses had already claimed another 25,000. So, plus this year's 25,000, this is why we get an accum accumulative a cumulative uh, capital allowance of 50,000 so far. So the cumulative, if we deduct the cumulative capital allowance from 500,000, we are left with the income tax value of 450,000. Okay. And we to the, uh, the, the the other assets as well, the factory building. The factory building had a cost of um, the factory building had a cost of two million. Okay, that's the cost. But factory buildings are also industrial buildings, so they. Are subjected to a wear and tear of five percent. So five percent of two million that's hundred thousand. That's the capital allowance this year. We claim okay, that's the capital allowance. These are the capital allowances. Now cumulatively, cumulatively, the capital allowance claimed so far for the factory building are four hundred thousand. So four hundred thousand from two million. We get 1.6 is the income tax value for the Mercedes Benz. Here, there is need for some explanation. Okay, this is where I say that you need to be very, very uh, conversant with the tax law. Okay, um, we are told in the question the cost of the Mercedes Benz, Benz was. 200,000. But in the eyes of the taxman, no, no vehicle, no passenger motor vehicle should exceed 100,000. This is where I want you guys to listen and listen very good. Okay? No vehicle in the eyes, no passenger motor vehicle in the eyes of the taxman has a value greater than 100,000. For the tax year 2021. So you come here and say cost, cost you must be 100,000. So this year that is going to be claimed on you is going to be based on 100,000. Okay? So that's 100,000. And 
we we'll put a fee of 25% that's that's going to be uh, 25,000 capital allowance and including the previous year 25,000 going to be 50,000 so the uh, income tax value for the vehicle for the Mercedes Benz is now going to be 50,000 okay uh, industrial machine the old machine which was um, in the business okay let's let us go back to the note on the machine this is the machine which was in the business industrial machinery 300,000 okay and we had claimed here of 75,000 this machine the camera disposed the existing machinery for 240,000 on 30 June 2021 and replaced it with a new machinery which was bought for 500,000 the cost of bringing the machinery to the to its useful state was incurred as follows so these were the costs to incurred so the existing machinery was I mean the old machinery was Costing what had a cost of 300,000. So the cost is given, is as given, okay, 300,000, and the fear which has been claimed was 25% of that, 775,000 in the year 2020. But now, including 2021, 20, uh, so it becomes 75 plus another 75 to 150 and then we deduct the 150 from 300,000 and we get 150,000 so we claim that and then we have um, a new machinery now okay where we are given this information this is now for the new machinery Okay, the supplies cost is 500,000. But for us to bring this machinery to its useful state, we have to incur import duty 25,000, installation 15,000, alteration of the factory bit so as to fit the new machinery 20,000. So we have to add up these to include to this 500,000 to come up with the ultimate cost of the machinery so 20 plus 15 that's 35 plus 25 plus 50 plus 500 becomes 550,000 so 550,000 is now the ultimate cost of the new machinery all right and we charge here okay because remember the idea is to maximize capital allowances as possible so if the question is just silent okay if the question is just silent then you just have to maximize capital allowance so SIA gives us more allowances than we and here okay because 25% is actually a higher percentage so that's 25% of 5 skis and we get 140 Okay, and this is the cumulative uh, capital allowance that year. So we are left with an income tax value of 420. Then let's talk about the other passenger motor vehicle which had been spoken in the question. The company bought a Nissan Primera for the finance director on 20 February 2021 for 140,000. And I said, it and I'm repeating it here again. In the eyes of Zimra, there is no motor vehicle that is higher than hundred thousand. No passenger motor vehicle higher than that. So this is why we put a hundred thousand here as the cost of the vehicle, and then we charge here, okay, and twenty five percent the cumulative the cumulative capital allowance twenty five percent, and we get. 
an ITV of 75,000. So, have we answered the question? The question was saying, calculate the maximum allowances. These are the allow. You just have to add these figures. These are the allowances we have to deduct in this year's income. Okay. These are the. You have to add up these figures or to deduct from the gross income these figures. Okay, what about the, uh, the the recruitment on old machine? When the old machine, we are told in the question here, the recruitment disposed the, I mean, the camera disposed the existing machinery for two hundred forty thousand, and replaced it with a new machinery. But we know that recruitment is selling price. Minus income tax value. What is the income tax value of the old machine? So we go back here. The income tax value was 150,000. And the sales price, the amount received was how much? 240,000. So 240 minus 150, how much do we get? We get a potential recruitment of 90,000. But capital allowance is granted so far. The capital allowance is granted so far. If we go back to our table, so far we had um, claimed the cumulative. So these figures were very important. It claimed so far 150,000. So this is the 150,000 we are seeing. Then the actual recruitment is 90,000. But how would they get to 90,000? Remember, a recruitment should not exceed the cap, the, the allowance is granted or the capital allowance is granted. Okay? So, if it is anything lower than the capital allowance is granted, then you just have to put the, I mean, the potential recruitment you have calculated here as the actual recruitment. But if the recruitment had exceeded, if the potential recruitment had exceeded the capital allowance is already granted, you are supposed to have put the capital allowance is already granted as your actual recoupment this is the standing police according to the income tax act this is uh then the, i mean the trick bit but all the other issues are just a walkover i hope i sincerely hope that you have been helped with uh, this uh presentation if you have any more questions please do not hesitate to contact us we are there to guide you through your taxation journey Zimbabwean tax is actually a complex subject and you just have to uh, have a tutor by your side who is ready and patient to uh, mold you to prepare you for a distinction in your exam I am Jerem Timkulu. I am signing out. Thank you.